I've had a lot of people ask me about this watered air intercooler I just wrapped up. Uh, I figured I'd just throw a quick video together of it. Um, it's all made out of 6061 T6. Um, and I've had tons of people say, why didn't you bend all the angles and whatnot? And I've just, I've personally not had good luck bending 6061. So I went ahead and it was easier for me just to cut everything out and weld everything. Uh, every, everything, I got full penetration welds on everything. And then I even, on the, on the air side, I went ahead and I welded the back side of everything. Um, I know these, these things run upwards of, you know, 100 to 150 PSI of boosted air going through them. Um, and, you know, one side of it does get pretty hot. So I was, you know, a little bit concerned. I mean, everybody makes them this way, but there's a, you know, such a big flat surface for that kind of pressure. So went ahead and put weld doublers on everything, um, tied the bottom in underneath and up top. This is all tied in good. Uh, I, you know, I, I brought it up to 130 PSI here in my garage and you know, it didn't really, it didn't do anything. Everything held good and nothing moved. And so I, I think it's okay, but uh, I don't know. I've had, had tons of people ask me about it. Um, probably gonna look it into maybe building these and selling them in the future for people. This one's kind of extreme and it's kind of huge. Um, it's 24 inches tall and 18 inches wide is what it turned out being, which I mean, the truck it's going in, the guy, he, you know, he don't care how big it is. Uh, you know, they're just, their goal is cold air. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I don't know. Figured I'd throw a video out there of it and, uh, it turned out good and I'm happy with it. Um, that's 